How many have you forgiven today? Chapter 4, Part 2. In the past... You're really good at dancing! Pinky says with a giggle. I'm surprised that you can dance on your hind hooves! Anon tries to compliment Pinky, and she giggles. Ah, up until then I'm rather flexible. <laughs> Still. Anon dips Pinky as she lifts a hind hoof up to his waist and strikes a pose. This probably isn't normal for ponies, right? She nods. Most ponies can't stand on their hind hooves for long, but my time on the rock farm has made my hooves strong. Rock farm. Pinky smile slips some. <sighs> it's a long story. Anon brings Pinky back up to his chest as they continue their waltz. Anon doesn't know how it turned out like this, but Pinky said she wanted to dance with the birthday colt, and her big teary eyes were enough to get him to fold. Pinky is also surprised how well Anon can dance. Where'd you learn how to dance? She asks, and Anon shrugs. I'm not sure. Pinky doesn't linger on that thought. She's having a great time at Anon's birthday party, so she's happy that he invited her. Pinky rests her head against his chest as she looks over the room. Only a few ponies were allowed here, the princesses and blue blood. Pinky can feel her heart hurt a little. She looks up at Anon. Why isn't Fluttershy here? Anon looks away from Pinky and at a wall. I didn't find a reason to invite her. Anon? I know you want to talk to her. Really? Yes, really! I saw you at her cottage. Pinky can feel Anon jerk slightly, but he keeps his pacing. You were there? I was visiting to see how she was doing. I see. She isn't a bad pony, Anon. She feels horrible about what she did. Anon doesn't say anything as he lets out a sigh. I know. He relents. Talk to her. It's not that easy. It is. Pinky rests her head on his chest again. It's easier than you know. Please, just talk to her. <sighs> I'll think about it. Pinky and Anon both stop at the same time. Pinky looks up at him with a large smile as she drops back onto all fours. Maybe we could do this again? You really are a great dancer. Anon rubs the back of his neck. Maybe. Pinky accepts that answer with her usual smile. I'm gonna check on Fluttershine Twilight. Pinky notices the flash of hate that crosses Anon's face when he hears the word Twilight. I'll see you later. He responds in a dead tone. <sighs> I'll see you later. Pinky responds with a sigh as she turns to leave. Back in the present, Anon clenches his teeth some at that memory. Damn it, Pinky. Uh, no hard feelings? Anon says. Fluttershy looks up at him with tears in her eyes. Do you really mean that? Anon hates how emotional ponies can get. <sighs> yeah, definitely. Like I said, you aren't to blame. Fluttershy chuckles as she clears her face some. I'm sorry I'm making this awkward for you. Well, I have a feeling that it would have been awkward regardless. Anon feels something start to grasp at his pant leg. He looks down to see George climbing up his leg. Fluttershy can only giggle as the monkey climbs all the way up Anon's body and sits on her shoulder. Blue Blood told me that you like animals. Anon nods. Yeah, they're alright. I prefer domesticated animals more. Less chance of my face being ripped off. Oh, I'm sure that wouldn't happen. Fluttershy thinks for a second. Well, at least with none of the animals in the garden. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. Celestia wouldn't let Blue walk around if these animals were bloodthirsty. What kind of animals do you like? Dogs. Loyalty is what I like the most about them. Loyal to a fault, some would say. Have you ever thought about owning a dog? Fluttershy asks. Nah, uh, as much as I would like to have a personal companion of my own, I don't think I'd give it the time it needs. I've been busy, and the princesses pretty much take up most of my time. Anon rubs his chin and whispers in thought. I wonder if I can teach Celestia how to fetch. What was that? Fluttershy asks, and Anon shakes his head. Hmm? No, nothing, just uh, idle thoughts. Uh, anyways, why are you still here, Fluttershy? Shouldn't you have left for Ponyville about a month ago? Fluttershy gets red in the face. Yeah, I kind of wanted to see you, you know, to get everything out in the open. That's weird. Really weird. Then again, ponies are weird. Interesting. Uh, so you're gonna head back now? Fluttershy nods. I think I'll start packing tomorrow. I'm sure the animals are eager to see me. Anon looks up to the sky and notices the position of the sun. It's starting to get late, and he wants to make sure that he has a bag packed for his stay at Bonbons. 
I gotta head back and pack some things, Fluttershy. Uh, you'll be going to dinner, right? She nods. I will. I guess I'll see you there. Fluttershy nods as Anon stands there awkwardly for a few seconds. So, uh, yeah, I'm, uh, just gonna walk away now. Anon turns around and starts walking towards the castle. See you later. Fluttershy calls out. Anon just gives a small wave, never looking back. Fluttershy looks off into the garden. She feels content with herself now. Maybe, just maybe one day, Anon can be her friend as well. Luna walks into her captain's quarters with a stone-cold look on her face. Before her banishment, her knights were well known for their covert ops, being able to hide in plain sight and protect from the darkness. The fact that Anon was harmed disturbs her. Her knights can't be everywhere at once, but she intends to have a small group watch over Anon from now on. It's something that she's been meaning to do for a while, but ever since she's taken time on the throne from her sister, things are busy for her. Not that she's complaining, she enjoys helping her subjects as much as her sister. But still, Manon is always on her mind. She doesn't want him to become a victim ever again. Captain Midnight! Luna calls her captain's name. A female Thestral walks from her office and bows before her princess. You called? Rise. Luna commands. I want training for your nights to be doubled. I have a sour feeling in my stomach that something is just over the horizon. As you wish. I would also like a small team dispatched to protect something. Ask, and it will see no harm. I wish for you to protect Anonymous. The pony looks at her princess. The human? Luna nods. Ensure that you are not seen. Anon may not look it, but his senses are far sharper than you know. I would dare say that they're on par with my own. We will blend in the shadows. Luna walks up closer to her captain. He means a lot to me. Keep him safe. Another bow from Midnight Blossom. I understand. Luna feels that everything is now in motion. She doesn't know why, but she can't stop this weird feeling that's inside of her. It's like her insides are filled with hot air, similar to the jitters that she would get before battle, but somewhat different as well. All that she knows is that it happens whenever she thinks of her friend, so she worries that he may be in danger. I must prepare for dinner. Luna walks away. Midnight Blossom rises from her bow as her princess leaves. A small smirk on her lips appeared. It seems that things are getting interesting. She can practically count the millennia that she's been waiting for any form of action to take place. If her princess feels that something is on the horizon, then she knows to take her words seriously. Not only that, but she's also been given an assignment. Ma'am, would you like us to watch over this human? One of her knights asks, after hearing the conversation. Blossom shakes her head with her smirk still present. Now, she's very much been interested in this human ever since one of her knights reported him carrying her princess to her chambers. I think it's time I've got my hooves dirty. She looks over to her knight. You're in charge. I want you and the rest of the cadets to start training. Leave this human to me. The pony salutes. Understood. Blossom walks over to a nearby window and leaps out. She can't wait to see this human. To think he was able to befriend not one, but both sisters. He must definitely be a sight to behold. It's been a while since I've done this, but I think she's gonna have fun with guarding him. Now let's get on to our protected donators. Top donators are 630, Peter Coulthard, J Tin Man, Dark Side, Only One Thing, and Dash of Evergreen. Raiden, Narwhals, Black Moon Heart, Pastel Skies, Austin Rollins, Crazy Claire 557, Stu Hex, Sword Brother and Mortred, Omicon Library, Will Chris, Twinkie, Hudzaza, Riot Soul, Maverick, and many more amazing people. Thank you all so much for watching this video and live life to the fullest.